Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to look at some computation examples and let's start with a familiar one. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, we said in the video on the multiplication property of the Euler phi function that if we so chose, we could do 542 by doing 5, 6 times 5, 7. And that's because 6 times 7 is equal to 42. Um, and 6 and 7 are relatively prime. And that's something that we had to make sure is true. That is, 6 and 7 being relatively prime is crucial to applying the um, multiplication property of the Euler phi function, right? Okay, but yeah, by doing this, we know that 5, 6 is 2 and 5, 7 is 6, and so we see that 5, 42 is 12. But could we have done this differently? And the answer is yes. We could have used the product formula instead, and this is how. Well, uh, we know that the product formula uh, requires that we know the prime factors of our number, and the prime factors of 42 are 2, 3, and 7. But otherwise, this right-hand side is just a correct application of the product formula, right? Okay, and of course, unsurprisingly, when we multiply out these four numbers here, um, considering these guys in the parentheses as like single numbers, yeah, but the uh, product is going to turn out to be 12, right? Um, okay, 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 okay. So cool, cool, cool. We could have done either, right? All right. Now, uh, the next example is going to illustrate a combination, right? A combination of methods, which is like, like you know, to start, uh, we see that 5200 could be uh, thought of as 525 times 58. And that's because 25 times 8 is 200. But also, 25 and 8 are relatively prime, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. But then 25 is 5 squared and 8 is 2 cubed. So we have phi of a prime to a power times phi of another prime to a power. And remember, from the video on phi on uh, primes to a power, uh, we know that uh, phi of p to the k, where p is a prime, uh, but yeah, 5p to the k is equal to, uh, we said a couple of things, but both of them are equivalent to p to the k minus p to the k minus 1. So 5p to the k, which is equal to um, p to the k minus 1 times p minus 1 uh, is the same as uh, p to the k times 1 minus 1 over p, right? Uh, but it's also the same as uh, p to the k minus p to the k minus 1. So if we use this very last version, which is the fact that 5p to the k where p is a prime is equal to p to the k minus p to the k minus 1. We see that 5 of 5 squared uh, is equal to 5 squared p to the k minus 5 to the first minus p to the k minus 1, right? Okay, okay, okay. And then, therefore, 5 2 cubed is 2 cubed minus 2 squared. And so, uh, going in that direction, we see that uh, we can do 5 200. Uh, first by writing this and then by writing this, which amounts to 80. Uh, but again, did we have another option? And the answer again is yes. We could again use the product formula. For me, I prefer the product formula in almost every instance. Uh, but yeah, uh, 5, 200 we could do by first figuring out the prime factors of 200, which are 2 and 5, right? 2 and 5 are the only prime factors of 200, right? And so not a lot of computation. And uh, this right-hand side is just a correct application of the product formula. But yeah, if we like multiply uh, this out, right? Like figure out what that product is, uh, it will unsurprisingly equal 80. Yeah? Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and so finally, um, just to pick something bigger than 200, let's do 1,000. So 1,000 is 10 cubed which is 2 times 5 cubed, which is 2 cubed, 5 cubed. And we wanted this because now we know the uh, prime factors of 1,000. They are 2 and 5, right? Okay, cool. So again, not a lot of computation. So uh, 5, 1,000 by applying the product formula would look like this. And that in turn is the same as this, which is equal to 400. Yeah? All right, cool, cool, cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, keep watching. Lots more to come. Take care.